Hi, my name is Ben Marks Adventure Caravans, and today I'll be showing you around this 2017 Adria Dora 613 UT Thames. So the Thames is a four berth model um, with a fixed double bed on the near side of the caravan. And for 2017, Adria have introduced the Platinum Collection, um, which features the Isonzo and the Thames. So within the Platinum Collection, you get the Aldi Wet Central Heating System, a microwave, and the silver sides and ABS front panels. So you can see with the large panoramic sunroof on the front, followed by the grey front panel and the silver polyester sides with the green, silver and blue details on the side. So all Adra caravans are made of polyester, so it's nice and resistant to any dents and damage that you might get from kids bikes or awning poles. So on the front of the caravan, Adra fitted the Alco AKS 3004 hitch. It's also got a long A-frame which will allow you to fit a bike carrier to the front as well as increased stability with the long A-frame. So in the front of the caravan, you've got a large front locker. We'll just open this up. So within the front locker, you've got space for two gas bottles. Adra also fit two gas retaining straps to make sure that each gas bottle is nice and secure. So on the top there, you've got your bulkhead regulator and also your winding handle and wheel brace, as well as a mounting place for the spare wheel in there. So it's nice and easy to get to should you need it. So on the front locker as well, Adra also fit their front lockers with a three point locking mechanism. This ensures that it's nice and secure in the front. So as we move around to the side of the caravan, I'll also show you that side. So down here you've got the water connection for your pump, this fits the Truma Ultraflow pump, the pistol grip type. Then just next to that, you've also got the battery locker. So that's where your battery would fit. Um, and to the left hand side, you've also got your mains feed going into the caravan. The Thames is also pre wired for a satellite and car access connection. Um, so some service pitches will have this facility so you can connect straight to the site's TV facilities. Moving around, you've got the alloy wheels as well. Again, the silver of the wheels matches the silver body panels of the caravan. So, towards the back of the caravan, you've got the toilet compartment and the rinse reservoir at the top. So, that's the toilet compartment. You've got a nice large cassette within there. So, I'll just shut that back up. So moving back round, so I'll just pan around to give you some nice shots of the outside of the caravan. It's a nice side shot. This caravan is 8 foot wide, so you've got plenty of room on the inside as well. So I'll just move round. So on the near side here, first thing you've got is a gas barbecue point. So you can plug any barbecues in the summer, do some cooking outside. And then just next to that you've also got an external locker. And within that locker you've got a 230 volt socket as well. Um, so that allows you to plug TVs or fridges or lights into your awning. This gives you a bit more facilities on the outside. So as we move towards the back of the caravan, on the alloy wheels, You've also got a receptor point for a lock-in wheel lock. So in the back there, you've got a large locker which will allow you to get access to under the bed. So you can store any shoes, dog leads, anything like that in there without having to take any muddy things through the caravan and store them. 
So I'll do I'll take you inside now and just show you around the the inside of the caravan. So on the door, you got a nice feeling door lock as well with a door bin. And obviously your stable door as well. So towards the front of the caravan, you can really see the large panoramic sunroof as well as the three windows at the front and the two windows at the side. Nice and light inside the caravan. Allows plenty of light to flood in. But it's also complemented with the LED strip lights running over the cup cupboards and following all the way through into the back of the caravan. So with the Platinum Collection, as I mentioned, you get the Audi heating system. So it controls just at the top there. And also you've got the radiators distributed around the caravan. So you've got nice gentle heat all the way through the caravan. The trademark of Adria's is also to fit winter backs to all the chairs. So this will allow the hot air, the warm air from the radiators to rise up back around the upholstery through the gaps there and up into the scooped out cupboards at the top there. So the air can circulate all the way around and then exit through the scooped out cupboards at the top. So basically what this does is it allows all the air to circulate around the caravan and present, uh, prevent any condensation gathering. So on the front you've got these light grey upholstery with the two-tone blue cushions and the nice grey almost silky effect curtains as well. There was a nice gloss white kitchen flap so you can store any mugs or anything like that but it also folds away so you've got the L-shaped lounge so you could probably see six adults comfortably being here. So as we move around to the kitchen You've got an oven and grill unit. So the bottom half, you've got your oven. Then on the top section, you've got your grill. So moving on to the worktop, you've got a three gas burner hob. So, as well as an integrated sink unit, so you can wipe any of the mess from the hob straight into the sink. It's also got a nice attractive LED lit splashback. Again, can be turned off, turned on. So with the Platinum Collection you also get a microwave fitted in the caravan as standard. So that's just in the locker just above here and it sits nice and neatly in there. So it's got a nice well built frame around the microwave so it's not going to slide but it also looks nice sat in there. Obviously the scooped out areas just to allow the microwave to cool down and not overheat. So probably the most stunning feature of the kitchen is this large tall pencil fridge. Just open that up. So you can see this fridge is absolutely massive as well as a large separate freezer box on the top there. So this fridge will work on 230 volt, 12 volt and gas and it's also got the automatic function where it will automatically detect which fuel source you want to use ensuring that if your electricity drops out overnight you won't have a warm fridge in the morning because it will change the gas straight away so right near the door you've also got a large TV bracket fixed to the wall already as standard so this allows the TV to pull all the way out so as you can see when you're sat in the lounge, it can be spun right out. But then also when you're in bed at night, it can also spin round so you can watch it from your bed as well. And then next to the TV point, Adria have also fitted a 230 volt socket, a 12 volt socket, and then a satellite point as well. Um, so they don't come as standard with an aerial, but they can be fitted, uh, but you can utilise the external aerial points that have been fitted within the battery locker already. So that folds away. 
So within that control panel as well, you've also got the main light switch. So that will control all the lights. Then you've also got your on-in lights and the controls. And then you've also got your voltmeter and your master switch and your pump isolator on that control panel as well. So another great feature with the Thames is this large wardrobe and shelf space. So within this cupboard here, you have seven large shelves. So it's ideal for storing t-shirts, shirts, shoes, anything like that. But then when you want a hanging space, you've also got a large wardrobe hanging space with a nice and secure bracket fitted as well. They've also got these nice push close catches. One thing I forgot to mention on the kitchen is these beautifully designed large kitchen drawers. So nice and deep. Also come with a cutlery tray. So within the kitchen you've got two of these drawers. So the second one pulls out there. And as you can see they're also soft closed drawers as well. So moving towards the back end of the caravan you've got this large bed um, because the caravan's eight foot wide you've got plenty of room to walk around on the side which means that they don't have to cut the corner on the mattress so you effectively get a normal mattress but you still have the ability to walk around the sides. So moving back. The bed's also fitted with a mechanical backrest support so it can easily be pulled up to raise the back of the bed just like that when you're reading but it can also be pushed down just when you're not when you want to go to sleep so above the bed you've also got a large space the shelf provides great storage for any phones iPads books anything like that so it means you don't have to get out of bed to put them away and you've also got these nice LED downlighters when you're in bed as well as the, light, the LEDs that follow all the way around the cupboards and tie back in to the front of the caravan. So you've also got some nice large cupboards. Three above the bed. Then you've also got this nice open kind of sideboard. Again, with so much storage. So because Adrian have moved the wardrobe to the near side, it allows them to put a window in here, makes it nice and light. So it doesn't feel like you're walking down the corridor. And again, got more storage space in there. So as we move through to the back, this is where the bathroom is. So as we move through. So you've got a Thetford electric flush toilet. And going around, you've got a glass effect sink bowl. And then a shower in the corner as well there. With mirrors and nice LED lighting which makes it feel a bit more luxurious and then as well you've got the, the cupboards that line the mirror there as well so what I'll do, I'll just pan around now just to show you some more shots of the caravan from the inside so there you go, you've got the front lounge again love the upholstery in this caravan And you got the kitchen. Really feels like you're at home in this kitchen. Got the wire baskets down there as well. Good for storing kind of cans, sauces, anything like that. Then back towards the back of the caravan. Okay, so this has been the 2007 Adriadora 613 UT Thames. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and see you again next time.